Okay, uh, your name please? Um, Davide Turla, from Italy. And uh, David, how did you hear about the Billy Meyer case? By, by chance I found a, a book in a, in a, in a shop and um, I, I found it with all the pictures of Billy. Um, the book name was uh, the con Contact from, from Pleiades, Pleiades and uh, it was telling all the story of Billy. And I was I was very highly impressed, and then I tried to, to come here to see where where Figo was and and get as many information as possible. So you were initially interested in the alien contact more so than the teachings of Billy. Uh, initially, yes, I was very astonished by the, the pictures uh, of, of the photographs I've seen on in the book, but then after a while, uh, this this was not so really important because then the teaching was very overwhelming compared to the. Uh, compared with the pictures. Uh, yeah. And to you, when you were seeking information about the teachings, uh, was there certain information or answers that you didn't get in your upbringing as a, let's say, Catholic or a Protestant? Or what particularly did, was the need for you to, to inform yourself about these teachings? Sorry, can you repeat the questions? Yes. Uh, why, why did you need to know these teachings? What was important to you about them? Uh, didn't you, weren't you already religious? Did you go to church as a child, or how was this better? Uh, you try al always to find some some answers in your life. What we are here for? Why why we are here? Uh, what are we, are we learning? Uh, where we are heading to? And so on and so on. And of course, uh, religions and and all the philosophies and and whatever you you, you can find in in the world, they give you just partial answers. Uh, and here. With your own, own job, you have the guidelines on which to, to base your, your homeworks, uh, let's say. Um, it's, it's, it's very, very astonishing because it's not a, a, a prepared package for you, like a religion, like dog, dogmas and so on, but it's a way, uh, it's a way based on, the, on your responsibility. Uh, it's, it's a total, totally different from the previous existing religions and so on. So it's a, it's a revolution, let's say. But it, it, start, it starts from within, uh, from everybody inside. So it's not a, a package, it's, it's not something you go and you study and you repeat as a, as a parrot, but you have to uh, work on it by yourself. And so um, for you, uh, what, what does the silent revolution of truth mean? It's a, uh, it's a job you have to do and integrate in, in, in your life. So I, I, I believe, it's, I think it's a revolution because it will, uh, it will involve a huge amount of people. Uh, but the, the real revolution starts inside of yourself, inside, uh, inside your thoughts. And uh, if you want to, to change the, the world, you have to, to start with yourself. So it's not uh, a revolution in the sense of go and convert other people, but, but uh, just try to, to understand what you can do. You're from Italy. What's your job at, at Figo? What do you do with Figo? I'm a passive member. Uh, we have a group of the studio in Italia, in Italy, uh, where we have uh, five people now, uh, all passive members. And we uh, study the, the teachings of the Billy and the Playarons and, and Figo as well. And we try to um, in integrate uh, the teachings in our life. Um, how about any doubts from the outside world? People that said this is crazy. You're, you're listening to somebody who talks to aliens. Come on. Uh, it's not a matter of believing or not. Uh, it's a matter of understanding and, and reach the point through your own thoughts, with your own job, with your own homeworks. So it's not a matter to believe it or not. Uh, so it's very simple. Was it a personal struggle to get to this to this point? Um, to really follow the teachings of Billy, to really understand what he's saying? Was it a, a struggle within yourself, this process? Uh, it's a continuous uh, evolution, st step after step. So it's not a kind of, uh, of a revolution you have inside. Of course, uh, when you learn about the um, UFOs, these new philosophies, philosoph philosophies and so on, you've got a kind of uh, cultural um, earthquake inside of you because we are used uh, in many years perhaps to listen to to, un to, to see things in, in a certain way and then all of a sudden you understand that uh, things are much much simpler and uh, you can grab them through your own understanding let's say.
From your family, have you gotten any criticism that you follow this belief? Of course, of course, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but it's uh, it's a matter of uh, it's not a belief. It's not a. It's just a a personal work that uh, you, you, you must do. And so, uh, if you feel good with this work you do, then it's fine. Um, are you married? Do you have children? No. And. Um, what do you wish for our future as a human race? First of all, that, that we reduce the un unbelievable overpopulation we have on this planet because the seven and a half billion people are just uh, unbearable by this planet which is very, very small and the resources are very limited. So the, the, the very first task uh, we, we should all think about is to re reduce the population of the planet. Anything else you want to say or add? Uh, it's, it's very simple. Um, it starts from within inside ourselves. So it's not a matter of um, of convincing our people or to convert our people. So yeah, that's it.